Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. And as some of you guys may know, my name is Don Bari and I like to play Pokemon games on this channel as well as other games such as Madden, FIFA. And so today I'm going to be starting up a new series. This is going to be Pokemon Black version. I'm really excited to play this. It's my first time around in Unova. As you guys can see, new game. <coughs> Hi there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. I feel like every professor in Pokemon ends up being called a Pokemon Professor, but whatever. I really don't know that Pokemon's name. I'm not gonna lie, like I said guys, I have never played Unova, so I know I'm a little bit late. I think this game came out in what, 2011, 10, 9, 12 maybe? One of those years for sure, um, and I never really got to play in it. <laughs> if you guys have seen my Alpha Sapphire playthrough, which I know I haven't finished it, but if you guys have seen it, you guys would know I would never really played Gen 5 or 4 that much, but... You know, I wanted to really try it out, so... Are you a boy or a girl? Of course. Boy character? You're a boy, right? Yes. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Alright, and... Do you guys know? Mm-hmm. Gonna go with the... Regular name. Oh, where's the space? You know what, let's just go with that. Don Bari. Yep. So your name is Don. What a wonderful name. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to two of your best friends. This young man is Sharon. Uh, he can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. And this young woman is Bianca. So I think Sharon is a fire type or grass gym leader in one of the games. I currently don't have black 2 or white 2, but um, if I end up finishing this game, I also have white. So, of course, I'm going to do it with a different starter. Um, so, if you guys would like to maybe just watch with the channel and you know grow with this series and this Gen 5 series, I hope you guys actually enjoy it. So, it's autumn. And that's pretty cool, but... The trees and everything, it looks pretty autumn-like. Pokemon Black version. <laughs> you know, when this game came out, um, I had to stop watching the anime a bit. I wasn't really into Pokemon that much. But, nowadays that I'm obviously, like, way much older than <laughs> I was when it first came out. You know, I decided to give it a try. So why not? Today's a day we can get a Pokemon. Okay. And I think it's in that box. And we're all going to choose our starter, I believe. <clears throat> Alright, they're waiting for us. Don, go first, take a peek at the box. I want to meet that Pokemon right now. Alright, so we're going to get right into it. Don, open the gift box. Alright, let's check this out. Let's check this out. I brought three Pokemon. One for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon. Hmm, didn't really think I was going to have to make the choice this quick. But okay, Snivy, Tepig, Oshawott. Alright, guys. So, basically, Samurott, um, Embor, and... Uh, I forgot Snivy's name. Superior? Usually, I would choose the fastest one, which would be Snivy, but, you know, I think I'll save that for the other playthrough, or white version. I'm going to give Oshawa a try, guys. I'm going to give him a try. I, I'm not even a fan of Oshawa that much, but let's do this. All right, Don chose Oshawa. Hmm, I wonder who's gonna choose the. <laughs> Alright, everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know, let's have a Pokemon battle. Okay, for sure, why not? Why not? I think this is gonna be my first water type on the channel, guys, that I've actually chosen to be my starter, so. Real excited for that. 
Let's see. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Bianca. Sent out Tepig, of course. Alright, who did we send out? Oshawott? Okay, Oshawott. Let's go with a Tail Whip here. Yeah, let's go with two Tail Whips. Then we'll get the tackle. Alright, defense fell. I'm trying to get like a good angle for you guys as you guys can see this isn't an emulator or anything it's like the actual physical copy of the game so it is on the DS this is actually a Nintendo 2DS all right I think that should be good right there guys wow okay uh, I thought it would have done more damage that first hit, but okay. Tail whip. Uh, okay. I'm gonna just try to see if I could. Yep, that's that should be a little bit better for you guys. I got so absorbed in having any Pokemon use moves. I went with before even realizing. Ah, uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? <laughs> As you guys can see, the room is actually a mess right there. I'm gonna try to focus it. The camera on it. Pokemon actually are amazing. You know, I'm not really a fan of just um, plain water types. I usually like my Pokemon to be uh, double typing, but you know what? Um, Oshawa may be. They end up being one of my favorite Pokemon after it's all said and done. Yeah, originally I would have chose Snivy, guys. Um, I'm not a big fan of Tepig just because of that typing being overplayed much. But... Alright, it's a sight. You'll be my opponent. Okay. Against Snivy. Oh, you know what? Snivy's not going to have a stab move or anything. If we can lower its defensive. Uh, early on and then attack. It should be good. So let's see. How we do against Snivy. You know, I, I didn't really check the stats before I chose a starter. I usually would have done that. But I said, you know what? I'll just kind of wing it. I won't really choose whoever has the best stats yet. But I'm sure Oshawott is all around. Um, pretty decent. I don't think he's the best of the three. I know Snivy ends up being the fastest, and the heaviest hitter is obviously going to be Ambor, since he does have that fighting typing as well. But you know, if I could just be solid, um, solid enough, and then have a really great team around Oshawa, that should be good. And as I said again, guys, I will be playing... Um, White after. Maybe, maybe, just maybe I end up playing both at the same time. And then seeing where I get. And kinda just comparing the two teams, but it's just a maybe guys, I'm still thinking about it. This is this since this is actually episode one. Uh, I may actually just do it like that. Or maybe uh split gameplay. Not not sure though. Do this room guys. It made it a mess. Alright, so technically I guess we are a Pokemon trainer now. And I'm assuming that's our mom. Yeah, in the game, so. Alright, no worries, I'll clean it up later. Shouldn't you be on your way? Yes, thank you, come on. Let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay. Oh wait, I've got to go home first. Are they both our neighbors, or are those two possibly siblings? <clears throat> Alright, rest your Pokemon, of course. Always gotta rest your Pokemon, you never know when you're gonna be headed into a tall grassy area. Okay, they give us a trans receiver. Transceiver, X Transceiver, X Transceiver. Okay, we're gonna 
you know, one bedroom house, again, with the upstairs. Huh. I, for sure that's paid of. Pretty decent of the early bird Pokemon. I've had a few in, what's that game called? Pokemon Go. Sorry guys, I, for, I forgot, I really did. Whose house is this, Bianca's? But um, I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. I could totally be going on an adventure. Yeah, right. Oh, that's what I would say if, if I had a child who wanted to go be a Pokemon trainer. I'd say, heck no. Definitely not. Too dangerous. What if one day you're just walking around and you encounter a legendary Pokemon? What are you going to do if you see Darkrai on the street? I'd probably cry. Being serious, I'd probably cry. Sorry about that. Well, if you guys heard that alarm, it was uh, <laughs> uh, an alarm I had to set on earlier the day. But we're just gonna go through people's houses. Okay, so Sharon or Sharon. I'm, I'm gonna just say Sharon. Sharon and Bianca are our neighbors, so that's cool. And then that's our house, of course. Do you think traveling in Pokemon changes people? Mm, yeah, it does. It really does. Sharon, okay, let's go meet the professor. Alright, say less, say less. Let's go meet the professor. And I believe this is where we're gonna be able to name our Pokemon. Give it a nickname. Hmm, what's a, a nickname? Maybe... Hmm, what's a, what's a good name? Samurai. Samurai is pretty cool as it is, I'm not gonna lie. Oshawott. Oshawott. I'll name him... You know what, why not name him Otto? Yeah, why not, guys? That's a pretty decent name. Auto. Uh-huh, I see. Are you okay with the nickname Auto? Um, yeah, why not? That's such a great name. Is for why I gave you all Pokemon. It's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex. Yeah, I'm astonished. Nice work. Of course, we have to freaking capture every single Pokemon in the Pokedex. For a 10 year old, right? Totally reasonable things to do. Pretty normal. One thing I like about um, this generation is that they really um, kind of just restarted the whole franchise with this. And I think a lot of people didn't like it at first. One, because they had weird designs for the Pokemon. But two, is that it actually didn't contain any of the original Pokemon prior to this generation, so a lot of people were really confused on it. You know, you, you didn't really see all your all your favorites that you would always see. Alright, there's usually people in here. I'm surprised that there's not. Finally, I can become a Pokemon trainer. Alright, so Professor said to go to Route 1. It's exactly what we'll be doing. Oh, that's our mom. Complete the Pokedex. I believe it. Okay. Three town maps. I really thought she was going to give us the running shoes there. Okay. Giving it to Sharon and Bianca as well. Why not? Thank you, thank you, thank you, mom. Appreciate it. Okay, Don. Ah, uh, Pokemon. They are so cute. They do have enough power, definitely, to ruin a whole entire house. Or basically anywhere. <clears throat> Use the town map. Alright, let's go to Route 1. And I believe this is uh, where they will teach us how to capture a Pokemon. As they always do in every Pokemon game. Done. It's this way. Okay. 
for starting a journey together. She wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, okay, let's take our first step on Route 1 together. Alright, there we go. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That they're all walking together like that. Professor Juniper. Now that everybody's here, I will explain. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. Okay, of course. Like with every other Pokemon game. Pat Rat. Manchino, I, I knew it. I really did, guys. I know I said I didn't know that Pokemon's name at all. But for some reason, like, I was going to get it right if I would have guessed it. But I didn't want you guys thinking I was a liar, really. So, I didn't take that guess. But the Professor has a really weak Pokemon. Level 7. Of course, use that Pokeball. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you guys prefer me showing the double screen or just one screen. Usually, there's nothing important on the bottom, really. As of right now, so... Let me just be showing you guys the top screen. Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Of course. You gotta make them almost faint. Paralyze it. Freeze it. Burn it. Poison it. Whatever. Really. Professor Juniper. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying Pokemon. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Accumula Town. Copy that, copy that. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at you at the tall trees. I'm heading to Accumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so we can get some more Pokeballs. Wait a minute. I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. Uh, who can catch the most Pokeballs? Pokemon, I mean. Okay. Why not? Okay. Uh, me and Tepic will do the best for sure. Are we gonna get into our first battle? Or? Uh, of course not. This is actually a really nice game, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, it can be a big problem. I'll give you this. A potion, of course. You gotta always give us that early game potion, guys. And if there's a bug area in the near um, couple of steps, they always just tend to give us some, um, what is that, the poison ones, when, I forgot what it's called guys, what's that thing called again, um, paralyzed heals and the poison heal, antidote I mean, poison heal, <laughs> it doesn't even exist, but we are going to catch this lily pup, just because, why not, why not try to catch them all. And as I said, guys, I do have Pokemon White as well, so I think it is really possible to complete this Pokédex, which I will be trying to do, ultimately. I don't see why not. I forgot you guys can't see the full screen, so... Yes, just throw the Pokéball already. Catch our first guy, or oh, first gal. My first Pokemon, Lily Pup. All right, gotcha, Lily Pup. Gotcha. Lily Pup was caught and added to the Pokédex. Okay. Facing strong opponents with great courage. Give a nickname to the caught Lily Pup. Yeah, I'll name it. Yeah, why not? Lily for Lily Pup. Keep it simple. Yeah, keeping it really simple with the names right now. I don't want to name, um, freaking Olipup Cornelius. I, I could have, with that evolution, I definitely could have, could have been possible. Another Olipup? Level 4 as well. Uh -huh. Should we fight it? Yeah, why not? So I think I'm about to end the video after this quick battle, guys. And then, and then I'll, 
Let's go ahead and start white and then post those videos back to back essentially in two different playlists of course and see which one ends up winning in the competition. As soon as I finish the game I'll probably um, have them battle battle it out against each other. So that should be really cool. Like have my main team against um, have my main team from black against my main team from white and just have them better loud and see who wins. Ooh, no, 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 no. Lear? Thank you. Thank you, AI. For not being so hard on us. We should have definitely lost. Thank you, Lilypo. Fainted. 39 points for auto, of course. Level 6. Thank you, thank you. Alright guys, so this is it. I am gonna save here. Would you like to save the game? Yes, of course. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the rest of this series. It's gonna be a really fun series and I hope you guys enjoy this playthrough, Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. So make sure you guys end up watching the entire series, I hope. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give it a like, a comment, subscribe, let me know what Pokemon I should catch, or just give me some tips if you guys have played Gen 5 at all. So thank you guys for watching.